Hello, good morning, this is Torn Atkinson, and it's time for 20 Minute Monsters. Today, uh, I, uh, oh, but, well, this is, this is the thing that I do every Sunday morning. I did the uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Monster Manual from A to Z earlier this year, and now I'm doing the Fiend Folio. Hopefully the levels are good. I'm not going to talk too loud because... Sunday morning, which means my wife is sleeping in the other room. And uh, as you can see on the screen, here's all my social media. Uh, and hey, check out uh, my original Dungeons and Dragons artwork for sale on TorrenAtkinson.com. Uh, I did art for uh, D and D and other role playing games uh, around third edition. And uh, I have lots of original pencil and ink drawing, which you can purchase. Get it out of my closet onto your gaming den wall or whatever buy it for a friend for christmas it's coming up also if you want to support what i do send me a dollar on patreon.com slash torrent atkinson and uh right now i'm as i speak i'm streaming this on twitch tv slash torrent atkinson but i will put it up later on my youtube channel torrent atkinson okay and i also put all these drawings up on instagram so that is that done get that out of the way we're listening to some uh, 1967 Spider-Man music <laughs> by Raymond Ellis although who knows what the next one will be so let's talk about the dark one uh, the dark stalker is what it was known as in uh, back in the day so we'll get a little closer so uh, size is medium. Dark stalkers are the rarely seen leaders of the dark creepers. Now, what are the dark creepers? Well, we'll get back to that. They are nearly a race apart, for they breed almost exclusively amongst themselves. Well, that's TMI. They are instantly noticeable amongst a group of dark creepers as they are man-sized and stand head at shoulders above their underlings. There's an average of one dark stalker to every 25 dark creepers. <laughs> and each dark creeper village will contain at least one dark stalker. Ruler. Uh, stalkers will rarely be encountered on their own, but this has been known to happen. Dark stalkers have all the powers of dark creepers, plus the ability to create a wall of fog twice per day. That's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna focus on. The fog. Uh, they fight with short swords if they must. If killed, a dark stalker explodes in a blinding flash. Wow. Equal to a fireball. So that is. Uh, this is a drawing by. Um, Rob? <laughs> no, Ross. Uh, I should keep the uh, Fiend Folio. I have the physical copy, of course. Of course. Um, Fiend Folio Ross, artist. I just want to find out his full name. Um, uh, where? Uh, Russ, Russ, not Ross. Russ. Russ Nicholson, that's his name. Okay. So now, um, this creature became renamed the Darkling in 5th edition. And maybe earlier than that, 4th, 3rd, I'm not sure. I didn't look too hard for a Google uh, on the Google search. Uh, these two came up. Um, I'm going to do it a little bit more of the original style. Uh, and because this is the letter D... And because uh, I have a theory, <laughs> I have a theory, um, and you may disagree with this theory. So there's a Dungeons and Dragons episode of the cartoon called um, The Winds of Darkness. And in that, uh, I'm going to pause the music for a second because we're going to watch a little video here. And in that, uh, uh, oop, in that, um, you can see what I watch a lot, civil rights lawyer. Uh, <laughs> some lawyer stuff and Jimmy Kimmel uh, oh that's embarrassing alright anyway uh, this is the th season 3 episode 6 which I think is the last episode they broadcast uh, the winds of darkness there's a creature they call the darkling and uh, it doesn't look the same and <laughs> oh, he's pretty creepy right there Martha over there uh, as always she is nearby. 
sounds like Peter Pan. And then he disappears. But the whole, his whole deal is fog. Like he creates this this fog. I don't know if we can show it. Does it does it start off with the fog? No. Anyway. Uh, so that's that's the Darkling in the D and D cartoon. And my theory is that um, it's kind of a wild theory. <laughs> Is that um, it's the same Darkling uh, as the uh, Darkstalker, even though the design is very different. Um, so what I'm so there was uh, so I posted this on one of the dark uh, one of the um, Dungeons and Dragons cartoon uh, Facebook groups I I watched I I, I I I subscribed to, and we had a debate about whether or not this is true. So what I'm going to draw today for you is I'm gonna draw Diana, one of the characters from uh, the D&D cartoon. Here she is right here, because she also starts with D. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Zoop. Right here. Uh, in fact, I will get rid of all these other characters so I can have her as a her costume reference for when I'm drawing her. She will be uh, debating. There she is, looking in a mirror. <laughs> uh, but I just need this uh, reference for the uh, for the for her outfit here. God, I keep Facebook's been problematic lately. Okay, I mean, a poor craftsman blames his tools, right? Uh, and that's I just wanted a close up on her face, so when I get to that, I can do that. So she's going to be debating with the Fiendfolio Darkling. As to whether or not she that's that's the darkling they're looking for. And this is the darkling's hat from the kind of sort of. Anyway, and and look at the scarf. Guys, do I need to draw attention to the scarf? God, I keep selecting the wrong tool. Look, they both have long scarves, they both create wall of fogs, and their names both start with dark. I mean, what other evidence do you need? Okay, but so let's um I think I can, uh, let's rasterize that layer and let's just get this. So, I mean, there's not much to remember. But let's keep that reference handy, regardless, or irregardless. All right, so uh, I'm going to put those up top so I can keep them handy. I don't think I need that anymore. Oh, maybe I do. Uh, that's the hat. I will need that. Hats are hard to draw, and there's my good friend Diana. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let me get rid of this. Uh, let's block out our scene. Let me get to my drawing layer, and uh, I don't want red. Let's just do black because it's the darkling. And what brush are we using today? We're using uh, True Grit uh, Fountain Inker Bleed. And the size is 30. Okay, so it is 10.05. We're want to, I want to be finished by 10.25, right? Okay. So let me rough in. Let me do it in a light gray. Shall we then? I want And I want to put them in a dark, dank dungeon. Actually, I have, a, I have some reference here. I like that one. Let's just roughly... I'm going to move this over to my other screen so I can look at it while I draw. And then I like the, I like the pillars on this. I like the way they're... I like that. Brick pillars. But anyway. So we will... This is my rough layer. Put it underneath my blue layer. And let's... Uh, yeah, let's start drawing. So... Uh, the Darkling is going to be here. He's going to be like, what? No, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. I'm not the Darkling you're looking for. Just the general shape. <laughs> uh, no, no. He's looking off to the side. These are his hands, in case he didn't know, in case that wasn't clear. hips in there. Of course, this is all going to be 
We don't see his feet in the original drawing, do we? Let me check my reference. We do. We do see his feet. Okay, cool. And it looks like he's got a rope. Sorry, where's the man? That's what I'm looking for. A robe and a hood. It's a little hard to make out, though. That's fine, though. We'll, we'll do what we can. And then Diana, who's going to be shorter because she's a kid. She's going to be holding up the hat. Is this your hat? That's why I have this. My hat reference here. <laughs> Is this your hat? That looks like your hat. I kind of want to get it nice and close, but I also need room for the hat to really shine. Make it a little more angular. And then she's pointing at him. Like, how am I going to do her here? She's leaning forward. Let's get rid of this. Looking at him. She's got big hair. Pointing, pointing. Not. All right, so is that going to work? That might work. Oh, I also have, I wanted to show you this awesome GIF of Diana doing her. Where is that? Where is it? There it is. Check out that GIF. <laughs> or GIF of Diana. Throwing a dire wolf around with her. Her, uh, if you don't know, the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Um, each, there's six kids. They get trapped in the, they go through an amusement ride. And they get trapped in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, each one of them is, has a, is given a magical weapon by a character known as the Dungeon Master. And uh, that's those legs aren't going to do, but it's a starting point. Okay, let's get them on the same plane here. Maybe she's holding it up a little bit higher. Let me another color. Higher, higher. drawing through where her arm would be. And it's about the same. And he's like, uh, no, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's get in. Let's do another color. And then the background will be like he's kind of up against this pillar. Let me Let me look at my reference I had for my where to go oh it's uh it's okay hang on oh hey oh hey oh hey oh okay it doesn't really matter just get some plain it's good plain but I want it to be a dark and dingy dungeon like yes, yes, something like that I didn't do it I swear I didn't do it like two point perspective. A dark and dismal are there stairs over here? Nobody cares. That's not the most important part of, of the drawing. Let me take let me grab the uh, let me grab this green. Make it a separate layer because I want to want to adjust it. Should I make the character smaller? Or am I overthinking it? 
Let's make them a little bit smaller. But then you don't know. No. Okay. All right. We're going to start drawing. Uh, let me get my Darkling reference. Not these guys. I don't want to see these guys ever again. Let's. There's Diana. Uh, where's the. Uh, there's the Darkling. Okay. It's drawing time for reals now. Okay. Let me get my black. Uh, he's a. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Hang on a second, lady. If you like. I didn't do it. I'm not the I'm not the guy you're looking for. I am going to put all the all the Russ Nicholson lines on it. <laughs> Maybe we'll see if we have time. Uh he's like uh, uh actually are you looking for a different darkling? Oh, we got to get those. Oh, and I forgot about the fog. Oh, my God. Let's draw that right now. Because if I don't, I'm going to forget about it. So we're not even going to see the floor. It's all gonna be fog. Probably not gonna. We're just we're gonna have the hint of legs even. And where's her staff? Her staff should be leaning up against somewhere. Oh, Diana's staff. She usually because the 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 mat the thing the match. So Diana's like among the two most capable members of the team. And um, uh. She barely needs her magic weapon to to defeat the evil Avenger, who's the bad guy of the of the TV show. Is anybody watching? Five viewers. Oh my God! Uh, Canewell one. The magic begins. Hello, Alan uh, and Charles Smith. Org is back. Saturday mornings just aren't the same anymore. It's true. It's true. In the nineties, they they. Uh, Put the kibosh on. The well, that was a terrible finger, but is that no? Because his <laughs> his elbow would be there. There we go. Shit adds up at the bottom. Okay. And then he, there's the hat. Check out that hat reference. Where I, need, I need my hat reference now. Come on. Come on. Why, why'd why you do it to me? Where? Whoa, I'm on the wrong layer? Is that what's happening? Yes, I am. Okay. Come on, hat. You think hats would be easy to draw, but... Because they're just circles. But, uh... They're kind of notorious. No, no, notorious. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this hat either. All right, so she's holding the hat. How do you hold a hat? She's got her... Like that. That's how you hold a hat. Is this your hat or what, Mr. Man? See, even there, it doesn't look like a hat. Like people, you can probably... Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. I'm on the wrong layer. Okay. Doy. I feel like I'm already finished with that reference. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, okay. Managing layers is half of drawing. The drawing process or process. Right? Is this or is this not your hat? Does it look like a hat? 
anyway. All right, so now we need to look at Diana. Diana is something that you would hear Bobby say very often on the show. Um, we can flip this. There's no reason not to flip that. I why make it harder for myself. How's the proportions? Let me check the proportions before I you realize I haven't <laughs> completely <laughs> skipped the Darkling's head or the Dark Stalker. Okay, so she's got let's do she's got her neck thing. Which looks a bit like that. She's gonna be pointing at him. You're not mad at him, you're just pointing at him. Well, you are kind of mad at him now. Hey, you, I know you, I know you. Uh, like that. Something like that. Oh my God, drawing hands is hard. The trick is to just draw the shapes and let people's, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Okay, we're not going to spend any more time on this. The hand is drawn. Da -da -na 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 -na. I draw. I see. I seem like I drew her too off model. Um. So the there'd be the what do you call them? The clavicles. Head. Maybe I just draw the head bigger to make her look less adult. Head, eyes, center line for the head. Okay, okay, so now she's got this thing here. And then her hair will just be this dark mass. Does it go all the way around? No, it gets kind of hidden here. Yeah, okay. goes down to her shoulders. Oh, well, the music. Let's bring that music back now that I've finished showing you the video. How are we doing for time? What time am I supposed to be done? Oh my god. I need to, I need to hurry this along. And her... fur bikini fur bikini everyone loves a fur bikini Something like that. I won't worry too much about it. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. God, I forgot about she's there's wearing the uh not wearing, but there's the uh <laughs> her bum looks wrong. <laughs> let's uh let's redraw that. Less of a booty. The problem is it's just too much. Too much leg. Alright. Let's take this. And just move it. Come on, just move it. Something like that. Seems about right. Oh, hello. Why? B. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, what I was going to do was just draw the legs like this. Yeah, I think I'll do that. The 
sense that there's the fog is obscuring. Does that look better? I'm not even sure. Now, the face. Oh, the face. This is the... Okay, let's get rid of that hat. We're done with that hat. Where's my... There she is. There she is. Young Diana. Oh, it's like a gem. In her thing. Okay, so draw that. Torin, draw that. Feel like this, uh, big anime eyes. Too big? <laughs> we only got twenty minutes, so. too much about it. I think that's fine. That's fine for an off-model Diana. And then uh, let's get the, this other. All right, that's Diana. Let's finish this Darkling. We're almost at time. Uh, he's like, <laughs> they're supposed to have big noses, even though the guy in the cartoon. Does not, doesn't really have a nose at all, does he? Do I still have that? Where's that reference? Not that it matters, because I'm drawing the... He has a little stubby nose and big fangs. I could draw the fangs on this guy because we don't see his. Let me give him some. Give him some fangs. <laughs> it wasn't me. I didn't do it. <laughs> I kind of I feel like he should be looking at uh, looking at Diana though maybe not looking away alright maybe not all of his chin is showing because of the scarf Scarf's gone a little sideways, but oh well. Okay, we did that. Does, does he have any hair? There's no, there's no suggestion of hair, but let's give him some hair. I'm a darkling. <laughs> it's a pointy hat. It's great. looking for someone else okay <laughs> whoa I always do that let's just fix this wonky arm here and uh, that's pretty much it for the characters just let's just do the uh Get this action going on here. Some nice dark lines. For the darkling. The darkling gets dark lines. I mean, right? Stands to reason. And where's his other? His other. Uh, scarf. My 
brown fog is concealing my legs. Is what the kid would say. Oh man, I messed that up. There. That's fine. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Now let's do the get rid of all the references. No, not that one. Not that one, you fool. Oh my god. Okay, we're past time. We're officially past time. But let me just draw. Let me just draw this column. Where's my reference? Oh no. Oh no, I ruined it. I thought it was in a different program. Okay. This one. Get back here. Get back here, you bastard. All right. Let's let's draw. Uh, sh uh, not Sheila. Diana's javelin staff here, leaning up against the pillar and again we're not going to worry too much about this just a suggestion it's just a suggestion Stairs. We're just going to save our work. We're going to get rid of that underlayer, and we're going to make it dark in the dank in the dank and dingy dungeon. Oh, you better believe it's going to be dark. Let's get some shadow here. Well, I don't even know where the light is coming from. It's coming from somewhere. <laughs> How, how much? Oh, see, I chose a brush that has some opacity to it. So that's... It's gonna, that's thwarting me already. I think that's, um, that's Diana debating, <laughs> discussing, <laughs> uh, with the Darkling about his disposition. Uh, hey man, uh, wrong Darkling. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. You may talk about your Okay, are we happy? All night long they sit upon the stairs. She holds her cloak and starts to coo. My little Margie. I'm always singing. I feel like we are I'll tell the basically done. Love you. Don't Might touch up a few things. But this is. Let's choose white. Margie. I'm sorry, I've been ignoring the chat. Uh, not much. Raquel's bikini, it's uh, Diana's bikini. Diana's bikini. Uh, I really want to. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it now. Fix her hair, but I'll, I'll, uh, I might make some minor adjustments later. Uh, oh, weird. Oh, I put that on the wrong layer. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, snap! Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is... Get my... Darkling. 
20 minute monster and where where did you see it twitch.tv slash Torin Atkinson all right that's it it's 10 30 uh thanks for coming uh Kane well amazing well done thank you I've gone over to the dark side and darkling done right Charles Smith org uh tune in next week the letter of the week will be E which is what usually follows um D and the choices the choices of choice are elemental princes of evil elf oh exciting enveloper edger cap oh there's a good one eye killer and eye of fear and flame eye of fear and flame okay so uh i'll be putting some polls up on the uh, earwig that'd be fun uh, alan um yeah we're putting the polls up on my social media for people to vote and uh yeah join me again next sunday same bat time same bat channel and in the meantime i'll be working on my darkest of the hillside tickets t-shirt design which i have uh, a couple videos up on my twitch while they last uh, so yeah check it out and uh hey this is torn atkinson saying i will see you on the internet.